good morning. Good morning everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and I believe on Sugar and Crumbs today it is pyjama day. So now I'd just like to point out that I'm not wearing my pyjamas, um, <laughs> although on some of my pyjamas do look like this. I do actually have a dress on. <laughs> I just like I point that out before we start um, but apparently you are all watching in your pajamas today and Carol has got an offer on um, that if you post a picture of yourself in your pajamas during uh, one of the lives today uh, you have an opportunity to win a voucher that sounds like fun doesn't it so I'm um, looking forward to seeing your pajamas <laughs> what you're all wearing um, if you haven't seen me before um, you might have seen me on Tuesday um, evenings I'm normally on at 6 30 on Tuesdays doing um what am I doing on Tuesday evenings? All sorts of things, chocolate, royal icing, you name it, cake painting. Thursdays tend to be cake painting, which is uh, what my online school is. Um, and that's where I am going to be doing this morning. So we're covering all exciting elements this morning, which includes cats. I'm a bit of a cat fan, as we know. Uh, so we're doing cats and we're doing painting and we're going to do some little bit of piping as well. So we're going to create ourselves a lovely plaque um, that we're going to be, um, I'm going to talk you through this. There's loads of Comments coming up about pajamas. I'm just reading them as they come in. I'm going to try not to laugh too much. And I am, please, I'm not wearing pajamas. Just, I know it may look like I'm wearing pajamas, but I'm not. So just bear with me on that. Let's take this down because I will forget. Otherwise, I will be chatting away and won't realise what I've done. Um, so this morning, I'm going to be doing some cake painting. On Tuesday evening, I did a royal icing cake using uh, whipping it up and uh, that went very well nice and sparkly i don't know where i put it oh it's behind me so that was the one we did on tuesday there we go if you missed it that was made with whipping it up there we go if you missed it you can go back and watch it so you can watch it on sugar and crumbs or it is now uploaded onto my youtube channel as well so if you want to go across and have a look and see how it was done um you're very welcome to pop over there and have a look and see how it was made very exciting because I'm about to be teaching an online course in royal icing you see so I'm giving you a little taste of what it's going to be like you see that's the idea um, so if you are interested in any of the online courses that I have on at the moment which is royal icing and also uh, lots and lots of okay painting um, just pop over to my website um, my classes are on my website they're not on the sugar and crumbs page just go into traceskakes.co.uk into the online cake school and you will find um, lots and lots of classes the uh, royal icing is starting on the 3rd of february so we haven't quite got there yet uh, but there's lots of work in progress so if you fancy learning a new skill for 2021 i can certainly help you with cake painting and i can certainly help you with royal icing which are the two main courses that i have on at the moment so good morning everyone lots of names coming up so lots of names i recognize too uh, we had a little course last night um, doing a floral heart which was a live paint so sometimes i do live painting classes classes with students and uh, that's what we did last night so we've got another one I'm going to try and put another one on next week but I'm going to try and do a new one I'm a little bit behind <laughs> there's so much to do I'm trying to do royal icing and painting at the same time so I'm sort of running between the two at the moment um, but there should be another one next week hopefully but the following week after that I've put a little offer on already if anybody's interested and you would like to paint this one this is the elephant course live on January the 20th which is a Wednesday in the evening at half past six uh, if you pop over to the website now you will be able to pick that up for five pounds so you can sit with me and do some painting we do it all live and if you miss it you can't make it that's all right you can do it another time can't you so um, you can come back and do it anytime so once you've bought into the class that's your class and you can do it as many times as you like um, and do it live when I do it live I've already run it about four times I think so people who've already paid for that class have been on it and done it again and done it again and done it again so and um, I spoke to the floral heart class last night that did they did a lovely job last night so we did this one last night uh, which is very pretty flowers and I've challenged them to do it again at the weekend just to see um, if there's any change to what they do you see because when you paint things the first time round, it always changes the second the second time round. so it's quite nice to see your progress developing it's just like doing a cake isn't it or anything really the first time round is always a learning curve and then after that you go well, I'm not going to do that again and then you can see your progress and improvement as you go so um, lots and lots of things to do so if you have new year's resolutions in the bag to do royal icing or cake painting do pop over and have a look I'm 
on this channel twice a week. Um, I'm on here on Tuesday evenings at half past six and today at half past 11. And I will be throughout January, except for the 28th, because it's my birthday and it's a big one. So <laughs> I'm going to be drinking Prosecco from breakfast onwards. So I won't be here on the 28th. But other than that, I will be here doing lots of cake painting and lots of other things. Happy New Year to some of you as well, because I've not seen some of you yet, so I'm just reading. Happy New Year. I can't get my teeth in. Let me just get my teeth in. Happy New Year, uh, Geraldine. I've just seen your comment up there, and Sharon and Karen and Gillian. Good morning to you all. It's lovely to see some of the names. Still got your pyjamas on. Don't forget to like and share um, and send it to your friends and family so they can have a look at what you're watching as well, so get everybody involved. So if you're sat at home, it's nice to have some new content, isn't it? Um, nice to watch something different on TV so um, and eating some chocolate as well Maureen's eating chocolate well that's very good I approve <laughs> right so let's get started with some cake painting so if you haven't done any cake painting before let me explain exactly what it is that I teach so I teach online cake painting with cocoa butter uh, so cocoa butter is a product um, that you're going to melt um, and then you mix it with dusting colors now if you've never done this before dusting colors are probably things that you've got I'm looking at see if you see me looking around that's because i'm looking for my, my bits and pieces to show you that's what a dusting color looks like um, it's a powder and it's a dust and you mix it with cocoa butter which creates you a paint that you can then um, paint onto cakes uh, with cocoa butter. Now there are other ways of painting on cakes, you can do it with gels and other bits and pieces, but this to me is the most um, reliable and easiest way to do it. So I personally always do all my painting with cocoa butter. I like the effect, um, it builds up brilliant layers and it just looks fantastic. Um, and so that's why I always do it and it looks very nice. So I always teach that way. So um, let's go through exactly what that involves. So um, again, if you're new to this, just um, I'll give you the information now. If you are um, have done loads of courses with me, just bear with me while I just run through this for the people that don't know. So I'm just gonna turn my camera down now so you can have a look. Here we go. Right, so this is a uh, metal paint palette and it is sat on a chrome food warmer. It's covered in wax because I've been painting furiously. Um, and it has a tea light in the middle. Now, if you don't have one of these, um, that's fine. You can buy them on Amazon for about £10. So if you put into Amazon chrome food warmer, you'll see it come up. Um, I don't sell it, neither does Carol. Um, you can easily get one from Amazon, no problem at all. Um, or... If you don't want to do this, um, you can just use a very shallow bowl with some boiling water in to create your heat source. Um, and that will keep your metal paint palette hot, which means that your cocoa butter will melt. So let's get that underway. So you've got two options there. Now, the only other option with the, um, the other one, the hot water, is that you will need to boil your kettle roughly, roughly every 20 minutes or so, so that you can... Um, keep your cocoa butter melted because once it starts to get cold then it will um, definitely um, set and that's no good you won't use very many buttons i'll put a couple more in there so we've got one two three four five about six in there roughly maybe seven yeah six or seven you'll watch it melt on camera that's how quickly it goes um, and that will be near enough all i need to do to do this particular paint so it's extremely it goes extremely long way so it's very good value for money a little bag of cocoa butter goes a very very long way so um, you'll have lots of opportunities to be able to do lots of painting once you kind of get yourself set up with this you are good to go um, and you can achieve a lot and it's also one of these things you can set up really quickly and then um, just sit and paint and have a go just one afternoon can't you and I was talking to my other group yesterday saying just how relaxing it is painting um, I'm going to come back on screen for a second um, you know it's very stressful at the moment for some people and painting is very relaxing you can get really into it um and certainly burns a lot of time i've discovered because i do a lot of painting at the weekend on acrylics i do sort of quite bigger pictures and things it's um something else i like to do and um you can certainly find that very quickly time slips away and um, and you've really got in the zone with it as well and you carried on and created something fantastic so if you are new to this and learning then 
grab yourself a course because you're going to love it especially the beginners one that I've got I've got a beginners cocoa butter course I just put that picture up quickly a lot of you have done this course and I offer a certificate if you complete all four of the projects um, each project will take you approximately two to three hours to do um, some maybe less depending on how you're getting on um, but it's a bit of an achievement so if you're looking for a goal if you're looking for something to do during lockdown then maybe beginners cocoa butter will be for you um, and that give you a nice bit of time to do that let's turn the screen back again so you can see the cocoa butter is now melted there we go or melting so for today's project I'm going to be using uh, black let's put this over here I've moved my board out of the way because honestly I can literally guarantee that I will end up putting this everywhere it always goes everywhere so there we go and I'm going to be using a little bit of white I don't actually need that much white just a tiny bit and I'm just going to pop a little bit next to my um, black so I'm going to mix the two together today okay and then we're going to do a little bit of dusky pink as well so there's quite a lot of black in this today there we go okay like so right my friend called me artistic yesterday if only she knew I can't paint unless I copy Tracy well you don't need to tell her do you I'm happy with that <laughs> no problem everybody's artistic and i'll tell you what even if you can't think of the ideas and you can just follow instruction and you enjoy it then that's great there you go um, susan's just done the giraffe yeah honestly it's it's really nice to do and if you've got a course that you are following as well it, it's just it's really lovely and relaxing right you can see me slowly shifting things around here so we're going to be doing i've got my camera set miles back let me just pull it forward a little bit otherwise i'm going to be painting off the table here so we're going to be doing these two cats this morning if anybody wants to do this i will put the uh, template onto um, my facebook page um, I'll try and put it on the community page as well. You just have to give me a little bit of time to get organised because um, <laughs> suddenly the time slips away. So we're going to be doing these two cats this morning. I've already got the, where's the template gone? I had it somewhere. I've um, got the traced version of it. So what I've done here is I've traced it. I can't find what I've done with the actual original. I'll put it somewhere. So I've traced this image and I have, uh, with pencil, turned it over, traced on the other side, and then I've popped it onto my sugar paste. Now my sugar paste has been dry on this plaque for um, at least 24 hours uh, the reason being if I'm trying to transfer an image onto a plaque and I've got my hand over it like this and I'm transferring it like that we have things called fingers and they make horrible marks so at least if it's dry then you won't have the problem of sort of denting your sugar paste so that's the reason why nothing else really um, you can do it but it's just a bit more tricky so we're going to be using um, a couple of really thin paint brushes this morning mine have got numbers on them zero and zero zero so we're going to start off with zero this morning um, so they are quite thin brushes so you need to be careful with them I think this one's had white in it so I just need to get the white out so just take that out of my brush there we go and we're going to mix ourselves up a little bit of black so I'm just going to move that down a little bit uh, where are we? I just want to make sure you can see everything. I'm just checking cameras at the same time. There we go. All right, it's quite a big um, plaque, this one. I think I've brought my camera down very low today, just so you can see. So this is an outline. It's good fun. It's easy. It's simple. And anyone can do this. So I think you will enjoy this. So all we're going to do is take our brush. Now, just remember, this is quite a thin brush. We're going to be very careful with the um, uh, the brush itself. So we're just going to mix ourselves up a little bit of black paint. So a bit of dust little bit of cocoa butter and just mix the two together we want it to be fairly thick but we also need it to be so we can paint it as well because the brush is thin I'm just being a little bit careful with it so when you're ready to paint you can just kind of roll the brush so that you get a nice point on it as well so you just need to be careful and what we're going to do is we're just going to start on this one over here now I'm going to turn this around as I go because there's nothing worse than actually sort of trying to paint like this and all over the place you actually need to make it comfortable for yourself so I'm going to start over on this side and all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to outline it now I know there's going to be some people that go oh my goodness me you know to keep my hands steady number one keep your wrist on the table okay keep your wrist on the table we don't need to do it up here I can't do it up here sometimes on my lives I have to lift up my plaque to show them what I'm doing and honestly it's so difficult because my hands wobbling all over the place because I've got nowhere for it to to sit and it, it really doesn't look particularly brilliant sometimes so keep your wrist on the table 
and remember if you want nice thin lines to keep your paintbrush up at 90 degrees and we're going to go across here so we're just going to follow our lines we're not going to make this particularly complicated like so and over his ear like that I'm not going to go too far with this one because I want to go back and paint um, the top part of his head, which I'm going to do sort of a like a darkish grey colour. So we're going to come down here. There's sort of a bit of a cartoon image. I've done silhouettes on here before and I thought, well, we'll, do, we'll give this a go now. So this is sort of line painting. So it's very effective, very simple, doesn't take long to do. Obviously, it's cats, so therefore I love it. <laughs> um and we're just going to work our way around, coming round here, like so, like that. So the line doesn't go across his neck, it stops like that. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to turn this back a little way, I'm just going to mix up a little bit of dark grey. So I've, I'm going to just use my brush, pick up some white, and just mix a little bit. I really don't need very much of this. As I said to you before, this stuff goes a long, long way. I just need a little bit. Add a bit more black. So, pat it down because it's white in there. It's a bit lumpy. There we go. So, a little bit, a little more dark, maybe. Turn a bit more. I don't want a bit to be too light. Now, obviously, you can change this. So, if you've got, you know, cats you know can always alter it according to what it is you want to do this is just fairly straightforward although they're not based on my cats I'll just point that out my cats I've got one ginger cat called Norman and um, I've got a tortoiseshell uh, girl called Kylie so I'm not doing either of those two today um, these are sort of very nice sort of they're really sweet actually just kind of sweet little cats so this one looks more like the cat that we've got on one of our facebook pages that goes wandering all over the place it's got its own little tag um and tracker this cat goes walking for miles the owner has to keep going to collect it so um yeah that's what it reminds me of so when you paint um you should get good coverage on a dark color i'm just going to go around the eye i'm going to be a bit careful here because i don't want to make his eye too big so I'm just going to follow what I've done like so breathing occasionally okay around we go because we don't want to paint well, we want that to be white you see so there's no point in painting um uh white uh, sorry painting gray over and then going back to white it's very straightforward you just need to just leave the gap there's a big enough gap um for you to paint round so don't worry about that. So I'm still on my zero brush. You could go up to brush one if you wanted to, if you want to give yourself a bit of a more surface area, but you know, it's quite a small project. So my cake board is a seven inch round, just so that people know um, what size I'm doing. So I did do this on a six originally. It's just be just what I happen to have. Um, also as well, just bear in mind, um, I've set the image up for a six inch, but you know, you can change it. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want to. Look, would look nice on the side of a cake. It's also got a bit of a Valentine's theme, which will come out more as we get towards the end. So you'll see what I mean. So just paint that. There we go, like that. So we'll do the other side now. So we'll come down this side. So again, you can adapt if you have a cat of a different colour or you don't want to put the patches on, you can change it. We'll go with this today. This looks fun. And I say it's a mini project. Now I'm normally on for about an hour on Thursday and I do talk obviously. Um, so you'll find you would be able to do something like this, maybe 45 minutes um, if you weren't talking like me all the time. Um, so it is, it's something that, you know, you can just sit and have a go. You don't have to have a cake, you can just do it straight onto a plaque. We do paint on sugar paste, I so will point that out. I've had people before asking me, do that? can we paint on paper? And the answer to that is no, because cocoa butter just goes, absorbs into the paper. So you have to paint on sugar paste. So see if you've got a little bit of sugar paste 
um, lying around that you can use um, and then go for it you know just put them on your plaque and and go for it I've got another couple of these little patches over here so I'm just turn that around I can see bits I've missed there right it's another similar color on this side we'll just pop that in now before we go back to the black so she's got some there so we'll pop those in I've only got a couple of little bits on here the rest of it's all fairly straightforward now with this particular project you can actually see because uh, it's an outline you're going to be able to see the color underneath so just think about what color that you're using I should have done white but um, I forgot as usual so I've done a sort of it's actually very 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 pale blue okay so um, it is almost white that's fine um, but yeah do um, you can do white if you want to okay there we go just a little bit there as well I've missed okay perfect right so what we're going to do next is we're just going to clean our brush up a little bit I keep seeing bits I've missed oh. right just dip it into the cocoa butter and just twist it on your kitchen roll so that will just take out any of the color to be honest I'm going to black next so I'm not too worried about getting all the color out if I was going to white then definitely I would um, have to then clean my brush up and make sure that happens so we're going to turn this around again and we're going to carry on with the black so just mix a little bit more up see the paint stays uh, liquid because the heat underneath so don't forget that's what's going on there right let's come down here so we're just going to come down so I'm not painting all in one line I can go back and actually with this type of thing you don't need to have very very straight lines they can be a little bit uh, thicker in places thinner in places you know it doesn't have to be really really thin I'm just going to go back a little bit and thicken that up a bit okay what brush have I got I'm on the zero brush if anybody wants to know and um, we'll come down this side as well I'm not looking at comments at the moment because I haven't looked up for a minute so I will in a second there's lots of comments on um, pyjamas. <laughs> it's pyjama day. I did have a discussion with Carol last night about me wearing pyjamas live and it's quite cold in my unit and my pyjamas I don't think would be a good idea. So I thought, no, I'll, I will stick to a dress. I'll let you all wear your pyjamas today. Because I have to leave my house to come to my business unit to do it. So I'm sure I will look fabulous in my pyjamas right okay so that's the body on the on one cat and now we're going to come down and do his feet at the front so just follow your lines down the feet aren't that complicated to be honest don't overthink it just literally a few little paws at the bottom there and the same on this side follow this down and then up there as well like that okay so that's the body of that cat at the moment and then we will move over to this one while that one's drying and start this one here so we're going to continue in the same way so lots of lines but you're only following a line you're not doing anything else so just follow it along you haven't got to make it up which is good we'll come around this side So don't forget to like and share to your friends and family so they can see what you've been watching <laughs> and see whether you've confessed to wearing pyjamas, you see. But yeah, don't forget to like and share. There's lots on Sugar and Crumbs today with Carol's on it this afternoon and then Laura's on this evening. So there's lots going on. We're keeping you entertained. And then, where am I? I'm still on camera. I didn't look at my camera for a while. 
Sometimes I look up and I'm miles off it, but no, I seem to be in the middle at the moment, so that's okay. So we're going to come down like so. If you find the paint's getting a bit thin, just put a bit more cocoa butter in there just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Sometimes when you're painting, there's nothing coming off the brush, and you think, What is going on? be a bit braver and just press the brush down as well there we go right now we'll come down this side so round we go so just take your time don't rush it um better to have lines you're happy with and tear through it and then go oh no what have I done so if you get towards the end and your paint's gone a bit sort of pale colour just go back and do it again like that feet match as well the two cats are fairly identical slightly different sizes but they are pretty identical In there, and then we'll and the little feet at the bottom, so they're a little bit cartoony, so they're fun. Who said that? My hands aren't that steady. I shake. Keep try and keep your wrist on the table. That helps massively. If your sort of hands floating up in the air is much more difficult. So try that. The other way of doing it is um, clamping your wrist, your hand around your wrist as well. That also helps. Um, you can try that. That usually helps. It's like gripping on for dear life, isn't it, while you're painting? <laughs> you just hold on tight. <laughs> right. Okay. And then we've got... A little squiggle here which I think is a bit of a cartoon tail but we only seem to have it on one but that's okay we'll run with that so again occasionally breathing like so also as well um, if you are um, if you are thinking of having to go with this and the whole prospect of sort of doing lots of straight lines or well not straight lines, but thin lines, um, you know, makes you think, then what you can do is you can just practice. Now, you can practice on a piece of paper. There's no reason why you can't do that. And I do that quite a lot in my lessons. I go, now we're going to do this and here we go. Um, or even on your, pe your paint palette, you can have a go on there. It's just to get the feel for it. And then when you actually put your paintbrush down, that's when you can start um, working out exactly what it is that you're doing. Right, so there we go. And you have a bit more confidence then, you see. Right, now the ears here have got a little mark. So we're just going to put that in there. And there's another little one on this side as well. So I'll just pop that in. The eyes are closed on this one, joy. <laughs> so we'll pop those in there and there. Now his mouth, or her mouth, I think in this case, um, we're going to leave the nose, we'll come back to that. Again, just follow the lines. Keep that brush as thin as you can. A nice smiley cat, smiley thing. So we're not going to do the whiskers yet because we've got to put down, um, got to put down the cheeks as well. So we will have to go come back to that. So with the eyes up here, we're going to go round the outside edge of this eye. So I might not say much for a minute while I just do this bit. Just make sure I've got some cocoa butter on there. So keep the brush up high. Whenever you're doing eyes, just be really careful. Because you could paint the most beautiful, beautiful cat ever, but if he's got funny eyes, it's not going to work. So you do need to be extremely careful when you paint features on anything. Um, just take your time. Okay, we'll go round like that. And then we'll put the little eyes in here. So we're going to put those off to the side. So we're going to make those up. 
like that. Um, we'll do it looking towards her. So I'll put those down like that. Yep. And then we'll do the face. I'm reading some more comments here. Loving these cats. Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? <laughs> they are cute. You wait till you see when they're finished. They're really cute. Way. Oh, now my phone's decided to ring. That's extremely unhelpful, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. There you go, it comes through on my iPad. Right, on the basis it says no caller ID, I'm going to guess that's an Amazon parcel that I probably know nothing about. <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to um, do some pale pink. So we're going to change our colour. And we're just going to clean our brush. Okay. So just get all the black out because we're going to change colour completely at the moment. And we're just going to do the little pink cheeks now. Now we've got some dusky pink. So we'll just take, pick that up, mix it with a little bit of cocoa butter there and some white. Like so. So I want this to be quite pale, otherwise it's going to look like the cat's got blusher on, so we don't want that. We just want it to be quite pale. So we'll just mix a little bit. Like that, and then we'll go over to the cheeks and we'll just pop those in. So the circles are there for us, and we'll just fill them in. one like so and then we'll go and we'll do this one as well now this cheek here is actually going to go just go over the top of the gray but because the gray is dry it's easy to do okay so you should be able to do that no problem if it's wet it won't be you won't be able to do it but it's dry Cocoa butter takes about one to two minutes to dry it in, I'd say, normal UK temperatures. It only starts playing up in the summer where it gets really hot and then it doesn't like it particularly. So um, then it just takes a lot longer to dry. So the process can be a lot slower. But I have taught, <laughs> I've taught painted macarons on literally the hottest day of the year. Oh my goodness, it was hot, but we got through it. So there you go. Right, so next thing we're going to do also as well, I'm just going to take a tiny bit more white and just add it a little bit more white to this. So I've got a slightly paler pink and I'm just going to do their nose. So I'm going to put a little triangle in there. And again on the other side. And we'll come back to that later. So we'll let those two dry now. OK, um, so now what we'll do is we'll just dip that into the cocoa butter and clean it all up again. I'm reading some comment here in Sydney. We sell coffer butter. I have absolutely no idea what that is, um, so I can't comment, to be honest. Um, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. So um, maybe consult somebody over there, but I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. I don't want to tell you I know and I don't know. Um, I do get lots of comments about coconut oil. I think it is. People ask, especially some of the people that are painting abroad, they can't get cocoa butters. They use coconut oil. I think you can, but I don't think it's as easy. So if you can get cocoa butter, use cocoa butter as far as possible. Right, we're going back to black now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this across here. You're thinking, what is she doing? Anyway, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> so for this, I'm going to come out. So I'm just going to loop it round like that. So you can see I'm not just doing it straight. And then I'm going to come across here. I need to put some more cocoa butter in there. It's not moving. So... Okay, 
weaving in and out occasionally. Now these, when you get to the end of these, they loop, okay? They don't just stop, they loop. So when you get to the end of this line, you go round like that, okay? I hope that, yes, you can see that on the screen, so that's good. I'm just gonna make sure that one loops as well. So they loop, all right? So they're not just lines across, they are actually looped. Okay, and we'll carry on. But you could do all sorts with this. Uh, you could put it on the side of a cake. It could be a birthday cake if anyone likes cats. Or Valentine's Day. Or just for fun. Yeah, there's another loop there, look. And then across here. And then just bring that. Like so. I'm not saying much while I'm going across these lines. <laughs> I just can't get across them. Just bear with me a second. Right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. I'd probably do better lines if I talk, actually, to be honest. So I probably should just carry on talking. Although saying that, I'll probably mess it up now. So, And there's another loop there. Go back and do the loop first, and then you can... I've run out of cocoa butter again. And actually, with what I'm going to do with this, it actually doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You'll love this. Um, I've got a brilliant way of getting out of this. So, um, yeah, don't worry if you've done anything wrong at this stage. I can help you with that. Right now, the cheeks will be dry so we can go back up to the cat itself and we can just go round his nose. So we're just going to go round with a black line like so and we're going to go have a go at the whiskers so what we're going to do is we're going to put in three little dots here and here i have to say when i teach animal cats and dogs the whiskers can really undo people i'm not joking <laughs> it really can so um and the worst thing is with the whiskers it's always the last thing isn't it and it can be quite tricky so you have to have a nice thin brush you have to have this brush up and you have to take your time, so you want to think carefully about this. So we're going to just very carefully put some cocoa butter on my brush first. And I'm going to curve my whiskers. I do not want straight whiskers. And then we'll have another one there. So you can't breathe at this point, okay? That's banned. Um, <laughs> the template's not available yet but it will be I will put it up but you will have to wait for it because um, I haven't got round to doing it yet is my daughter Kelly going to follow in my footsteps <laughs> no, Kelly works in the film industry already actually she is a props maker that's um, what Kelly does. So uh, we're all very creative in our family, uh, except my husband, who is not creative at all. Um, but my, uh, yeah, Kelly works in the film industry. So Kelly does my comments on a um, on a Tuesday night. And of course, she's not working at the moment because they're, um, fur well, they're not furloughed. They're just not making any films at the moment. So um, but that's what Kelly does. Right, let me just have a quick more look at these comments. Uh, when is the list coming for the royal icing? Right, the royal icing, the people who are waiting for the royal icing course list, you're going to have to give me another week. Now, there is a very good reason behind this because I'm still filming. And when I finish filming, I will be able to give you a very conclusive list. What I don't want to do is get to the end of it and go, oh, by the way, you also need nozzle number and give you another nozzle number because that will be quite irritating. Um, so I'm getting quite close to finishing it, but you will have the list available at least two to three weeks before the course starts so just bear with me um, I am filming at the moment rapidly um, so it is coming but that's the reason why it's not out yet okay um, what brand of cocoa butter am I using um, I've got cocoa butter on my site as has Carol so um, 
cocoa butter is cocoa butter to be honest there isn't any brand attached to it it's like an egg is an egg it's it's very it's just a basic product um let's go back to my whiskers you see i was delaying doing the whiskers then <laughs> i thought i'll have a chat for a minute while i think about the whiskers right let's head over this way Over this spot, let's turn it around a bit. Okay, thin lines, radio silence for me. <laughs> and then we'll put this one. Where do we want that one to go? I'm just trying to work that one out. I've not got it over here. Got one up a bit high, but that's all right. That one closer. I've got any cocoa butter on my brush again. Let's go that way. That one's a bit close, but that's okay. Actually, that's fine. Um, and then we'll do the other one. So again, we'll put some dots down. Put in as many whiskers as you like. You don't just have to do one, do you? You can do loads if you want. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I'm sure once you've done one or two, you'll be thinking, yeah, I don't think loads is a good option. <laughs> I could just do three on each side. Oh, dear. I mean, they're stressful enough, let alone doing them live. So I just need to do it, not think about it. That's what I need to do. There you go. You see, look how quickly I'm doing these ones. That's because I didn't have to think about it. OK, and then we'll go the other way trying to work out which is the best way around to do this let's keep moving it around okay let's just start with this one no we've got no paint on there i have to say going back to my kelly kelly is a better a better baker than me by a long way she she is an amazing uh, cake maker kelly really good very employable you know <laughs> she's working for me at the moment you see right now we're going to just do the nose there as well we've missed that one on his nose again nice fine line lovely so there we go okay so that's where we are at the moment um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just clean our brush again so let's drip that in there and we will put some white into the eyes so we need to make sure we've got all this black out of our brush otherwise uh, we'll end up with a light grey and we don't want that so let's mix up a little bit of white and then always find this makes eyes so much better if you put a little tiny dot in the top right hand side of the eye see that makes it look so much better already right you're probably thinking what is all this around here what is she doing so we're going to stop painting now and we're going to switch over to piping so we're going to be showing you how to pipe some little love hearts so i've created a little love heart garland on this so i'm just going to move this out the way i'm actually just going to oh, i checked i've done it all before i blow this candle out i think i have check 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 yeah right blow that out so i don't leave it out let's put that out the way right there we go so what we're going to do now is we're going to pipe um a little garland going around here so on tuesday evening i made royal icing using whipping it up so if you're unsure about how that works i'm going to come back on screen just for two seconds here so whipping it up um is carol's icing sugar product that contains egg and what i did on tuesday night is i mixed an entire bag of it with 70 grams or milliliters of cold water um, and then just put it through the food mixer mixed it and voila instant royal icing so that's what i did on tuesday so i've still got some of that royal icing left because if you were watching i then went on to put it in a container um, and i've got that to one side and what i've done uh, this morning is i've mixed it um, i've mixed it up and i've added some red to it 
So I've popped it into a piping bag here and I've got on here nozzle number two, which is a writing nozzle, PME number two. Um, and all I'm going to do is show you how to pipe some hearts. So I will show you that now. Let's go over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pipe a garland on our cats. So holding our nozzle at a 45 degree angle. This is all dry now, so there should be no reason why we can't pipe over this. We're going to go like this and pull down. So I'm going to go across my cats. Now you don't need to push out loads of icing, but what you can do with this is you can vary the size of the hearts. And if you've got a really nasty bit that you want to cover, because you've made a mistake, then this is your moment. You can turn them different ways as well. So this is royal icing, okay, that I'm using here. I could paint them, but I think this looks nicer. It looks more 3D um, and it's also a lot quicker. But I just like the overall effect with this myself. So my piping hearts. You can do an awful lot with royal icing. Don't ever think royal icing is old fashioned and out of date. There's absolutely loads you can do with royal icing. So if you fancy learning it, don't forget there's the course coming up. There we go, look at that. And then I'm gonna put some hearts up here as well. My hands will probably be in the way for this bit. So just bear with me a second. There we go, how about that? <laughs> very simple very effective don't need a lot in fact if anything less is more with this don't you think i think you don't need to put too much down i think it looks much better if you just keep it really really simple but you can see why that the board color is very important with this because you can see through it so if you're going to suddenly decide to do it on a green board you're going to get a green cat um, so just think really hard about this um, uh, before you actually start tackling it. Um, if you do want access to the um, template, I will put it onto my Facebook page, which is Tracy Man Cakes. And what I'll do is I'll take a photo of this and put it onto the cake community page as well um, and try and work out where's the best place is to put the um, picture as well. So there we go. So you can have a look at it there. I'll leave it there for a second while you can have a look. I'll also be putting it onto my YouTube channel later on today as well. So you can see it on there as well. But it's very simple. There's lots of cat fans out there. Yes, I'm a cat fan. <laughs> it's very simple very effective nice and straightforward doesn't take very long i've been live now 47 minutes of which i did spend a good five to ten minutes talking so um it isn't a particularly long project but it is a really really pretty one um, and you can adapt it you can change the color of the hearts you can paint the hearts if you want to you don't have to do them the way i've done them i'm going to pick this up and so you can have a little look at how the hearts have come out on here now so if i pick that up and bring it up close you can see them there if i just turn it slightly you can see i'll probably drop it on me um there you go and you can see them a little bit 3d so nice thin brush, zero brush, black food colouring, white, or what, black dust, white dust and a little bit of pink. Um, and then you can do it like that. See, it's nice and straightforward. I'll put some links up in a minute so you can, you can find me. Normally, once I've done this, I normally put a picture on my Instagram page so you can see exactly what it is that I've done. Sometimes you can see it on camera, but it's quite difficult to see it up close. Um, so I normally take pictures there, but you'll find me on Instagram on this one here, which is Tracy Man Cakes. Okay, that's Instagram. Facebook looks incredibly similar, funny enough. That's also Tracy Man Cakes. That's as consistency, if nothing else. Um, <laughs> and then there's a YouTube channel as well. Is that one going to come up? Yeah, there you go. That's my YouTube channel. So if you want to go and have a look on there as well. Everything I've done for Sugar and Crumbs, I've recorded and put on that channel now. So you'll find it all on there. Um, and then there's the website. So if you are interested in having a look and finding out more about cake painting, joining in the fun, or some royal icing piping, because we are starting our royal icing course on the 3rd of 
February. So that is coming now. So just put that up there. I'm going to change the camera back in a second. I'll just give you a few more seconds to have a look at it because um, it's fab, isn't it? <laughs> Right, so it will reappear or will appear on my um, Instagram shortly. I'll take a photo of it before I um, knit back and um, so you can have a little look at it. So thank you very much for joining me this morning um, for your pyjama day. You're hoping for a real treat all day, aren't you? You've got lots going on today. Um, who needs to get dressed when you can just sit and watch your good and crumbs all day long? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. So if you are interested in cake painting or royal icing, there is my website address there. You're very welcome to pop over there and have a look. Um, if you have any any questions about it do please let me know I will answer everything as fast as I possibly can we've been very inundated at the moment with uh, course requests so I'm catching up as fast as I can I'm recording and sorting out queries at the same time so it's extremely busy so please bear in mind I will come back to you every single person that ever messages me I will answer you but just please bear with me just for a second while we get ourselves organized um, so I will be back again on Tuesday evening at half past six on sugar and crumbs so have a lovely day with your pajamas on I hope uh, it's been lovely to talk to you all I can see some very nice uh, names coming up here I can see lots and lots of you. Uh, thank you very much for tuning. I'm in. Oh, I need to get my teeth in. It's because it's lunchtime, you see. I need to go home and get my lunch. Uh, please note, not wearing pyjamas. But if you are wearing your pyjamas, Carol wants you to put a picture up of you wearing your pyjamas. And don't forget to like and share so you can win a £25 voucher. That sounds like a good plan to me. More than anything else, we've got an ambulance going past at the moment, if you can hear that in the background. Um, so take care, everyone. Have a lovely day. And I will see you all on Tuesday evening. Bye.